Hi, this is not a tutorial, but it is a quick description of how to customize the key features in brushes for Clip Studio Paint in Manga Studio. Modify or create a new custom brush under Create Custom Subtool or Duplicate Subtool. In Create uh, Subtool, the input process can be pen, brush, or um, dot pen. Dot pen is really a pixel pen. Pen and brush do the same thing. Click on this swirly tool to uh, revert all uh, settings back to their initial value. Click on the wrench to actually change the attributes of the pen itself. The main points are the brush size um, and an eyeball to make it show up in the GUI. You can click on the arrow next to it to show a slider or an indicator. Ink shows the affects the opacity. Also, there's the mixing of the ground color, so that's for mixing and blending. Blend is typically the best. Um, set the density of the paint uh, affects the transparency is really what this is about. So the opacity is actually controlled by the ink opacity, the density of the paint, and also underneath a brush tip, the heart, um, excuse me, the brush density right here. Those all affect opacity. Um, the amount of paint in the mixing mode is really for mixing with paints on the same layer. Brush shape controls all of these attributes and you can register presets or select an existing preset and apply it. The brush tip is typically a circle but you can also use a material and any material that's registered in Manga Studio can be used as a brush tip. Hardness is the edge. Um, if it's a soft edge, all the way here to the left and all the way to the right is the um, hard edge. Thickness is the, whether it's oblong, a uh, circle turns into uh, squashed vertically or horizontally. Border of watercolor is really used for uh, light type of effects, luminosity, or an, an embossed type of look. Stroke texture and spraying effect all are pretty self-explanatory as well as all the other attributes. The edge is controlled by anti-alias and also brush tip um, hardness. Once you've customized your tool and set it properly, you should register all settings to initial settings. That allows you to, in the GUI, to go around and make changes and then reset them. When you reset all settings to default, it sets it back to whatever you last registered as. Most attributes can be controlled by the pin pressure. You click on this right hand side. You can use tilt or pin pressure if your uh, tablet has those capabilities and you can adjust the curve however you'd like. Reverting the settings here only affects the local changes. So if I change here and I can reset right back there immediately. It doesn't save anything. Same thing for if you change the curve. If I change the curve when I revert it will change the curve back to its original value. Lock is explained in another tutorial but is not really that helpful. Photoshop has the ability to quickly click on a button to turn off uh, pin pressure control of the brush size or the brush density. You can do the same thing for any of the attributes that you share in the GUI. Um, just simply click off pin pressure and it will no longer control brush size or whatever attribute that you have. So that's an easy way to turn brush uh, or pressure control over brush size and density or any other attributes to turn it on or off. And that's it for the lightning intro to custom brushes and Clip Studio Paint.